Hello friend, welcome to the channel Pharmacy Dictionary. In today's lecture video, we are going to continue the next part of drug allergy and that is type 2 or also known as a cytolytic reaction. The answer is in question itself. So, what is the question? What is cytolytic reaction? So, if you forget this word, there will be a two consecutive meaningful sentence and this will be a cyto and lytic. Cyto stands for cell and lytic stands for the process of being lysized. That is called degradation or destruction of cell. So, this is a process in which a cell or any human response cells that is responsible for the production of your body get destroyed, get destructed by the drug which is being now termed as an antigen. So let's see what are the consequences, what are the basic steps involved in this type 2 interaction or type 2 reaction we can say. So the first drug bind to a protein and together they form as an antigen. Whenever we take a drug, not always it is applicable for not all the drugs, but in some cases the drug depending, depending upon their nature to nature may bind to the protein and you know it very well the protein may be act as an antigen. So whenever there is a complex formation between between drugs which you have taken and the protein inside your body they become an antigen now we should know what is the meaning of antigen in short in short we can say that any agent which activate the function and production of antibody is simply known as a antigen that is not a part of your body and your body will not accept this as your part so that the body will try to protect yourself by fighting with this antigen and to fight with this antigen there will be a formation or introduction or initiation of the body defense system that is called antibody so after the complex formation by the the drug with the protein there is a formation of antigen and after the formation of this antigen our body start forming antibody and there will be an interaction between this antigen and this antibody and that interaction is known as an antigen antibody interaction or antigen antibody reaction and you know it very well very whenever there is a reaction there some circumstances will be developed which is not suitable for you but these can be included as a warning sign and symptom starting from mild rashes toward the anaphylactic as we have seen in the previous one. So coming to the next step in this type 2 interaction or cytolytic reaction, what is happening? This antigen and antibody complex activate the different complementary system of our body which will result into cytolysis. What is the meaning of cytolysis? As I have explained you, there will be a lysis of cell at which there is the interaction taking place. So in this case, the complement system, that means our immune system participate to fight against the antigen and to protect yourself against this kind of unwanted material. So there is a complement formation and the result is ultimately converted into a cytolytic reaction and there will be a death of particular cell or particular part where this kind of interaction is taking place. Now coming to the next point, it may cause. Now what are the basic example and what are the basic complications of this type 2 interaction cytolytic reaction these are thrombocytopenia that is uh, agranulocytosis now next is aplastic anemia different types of anemia we have studied in our first semester and 12th class also so in case of aplastic anemia there will be improper formation of blood cells and we can say there is a lack of hemoglobin can also be take place along with this kind of anemia so what are the basic example of those drugs which may cause such kind of problem or such kind of drug allergic response. These are carbamazepine, phenytoin, sulfonamides and most of the cases phenylbutazone also with the mismatch of the blood transfusion. Whenever a A plus positive blood group donor can transfer the blood into a O negative or O other types of substance then it may be have problem for them because of there is an incompatibility of blood depending upon the nature to nature compatibility to compatibility so there can be chances there will be a chances of this kind of drug interaction or we can say that type 2 cytolytic reaction can be take place. So this was a simple explanation regarding type 2 interaction. Now let me clear you with the basic diagram that is called flow chart and that is derived by mindset to make you better understand the concept. So whenever we take a drug which is not good for you in some circumstances, not always because not always it is possible by the drug to cause allergic response. There are only few drugs which can cause allergic response. So whenever we take a drug of 
एलर्जिक रिएक्शन पोर्टेबिल पोटेंसी या प्रोटेक्टिबिलिटी देन दिस ड्रग विल बाइंड टू द प्रोटीन मॉलिक्यूल एंड देयर विल बी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन ड्रग एंड यू नो इट दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन एंड ड्रग इज कंसीडर एज अ एंटीजन सो दिस विल टर्म और दिस विल एक्ट एज अ एंटीजन एंड आफ्टर दिस एक्टिवेशन ऑफ एज अ एंटीजन दे विल एक्टिवेट द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री सिस्टम इन आवर बॉडी व्हेन एवर देयर विल बी अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री सिस्टम देयर विल बी अ प्रोसेस कॉल्ड साइटोलाइटिक रिएक्शन वेयर द स्लाइसिस ऑफ सेल विल बी टेक प्लेस and whenever there is a lysis of cell there will be a improper action or there will be a malfunction of associated part and that can convert it into unwanted reaction too so what will going to happen after this cytolytic reaction consider this as a whole or complete cell without discussion phase now after this cytolytic reaction this cell will be lysis and after lysis the cell will be no longer available for its normal physiological activity so this is a simple expression regarding cytolytic reaction or type 2 drug allergic reaction now it's time to move for the type 3 allergic response and for that we have to go for the next white board section so let's move to the next section so let's finish the topic of drug allergy with its third type and that is type 3 or also known as a arthas reaction or arthak allergic reaction what are the basic consequence and steps involved in this type 3 drug allergic response and what are their basic importance and the process so i have explained all this point in a very short so let's start with this topic that is antigen binds to the circulating antibody and the complex which is formed just because of antigen antibody interaction is get deposited on the vessel's wall so in this paragraph let me explain you this phase first first of all it is saying antigen which is made just because of the interaction of drug and some kind of protein molecule they are now behaving like a antigen so this antigen which is formed by this process is now interact with the circulating antibody antibody are present inside our body inside different constituent of our body like body fluid and different types of cells they are very essential and very much important for the production of antibodies and they are we can say that is very important for the protection of our bodies so this antigen interact with the circulating antibody and their complex is get deposited on the wall of vessel cells now what will happen after their deposition when they will deposit on the vessels wall there will be a initiation of inflammatory response or we can say inflammatory reaction as you know it very well what are the basic meaning of inflammation that is a starting of different mediators of inflammation that may cause inflammation problem and this response that means inflammation response may result into vasculitis now what is vasculitis in another terminology vasculitis is nothing but a thickening of wall that may cause problem inside your body and that is just because of the interaction between antigen antibody which is formed just because of the drug and protein interaction so this is a process which is start in this case of type 3 drug allergic reaction so what are the basic manifestation what can be observed by is kind of drug allergic response these are the rashes there will be a rashes inside your body and above the skin on uh, the second one is fever you will have fever that means elevation of your body temperature arthralgia what is the meaning of arthralgia it is representing the joint pain that's called arthralgia because earth is arthritis that means called joints and algia stand for pain so it is a pain of joint as in case of arthritis there is inflammation of joints so this is arthralgia pain of your joints serum sickness may also be occurred just because of the interaction of antigen antibody and what are the basic consequence or we can say what are the basic characteristic features of serum sickness because it is important so if it is occurring like serum sickness process then we may have characteristic features like fever fever along with the arthritis as in this case of arthralgia but in case of this serum sickness there is chances of arthritis that inflammation of joints specifically or your knees joints then nephritis inflammation of nephron edema and skin rashes may occur which can be characteristic symptoms of the serum sickness now what are the basic drug or medicament responsible to generate or cause serum sickness allergic response or we can say in broad sense type 3 arthas reaction this drug are penicillin you know it very well penicillin is causing drug allergy in previous case also so this is example of antibiotic sulfonamide are also included under antibiotic phenytoin can be used as a anti convulsive drug and heparin is used as a anti coagulant drug apart from this the toxic epidermal necrosis is the most important explanation of serious severe form of drug allergy so what is the toxic epidermal necrosis that can be converted into a toxic response that is not favorable for your body 
body and the epidermal that means it is taking part or taking place in the epidermis and what is going to be happen necrolysis that means cell death that is not programmed cell death that is a just normal unwanted cell death so these are the most serious form of drug allergy this is very important that may be asked in your question sessional examination too so what are the basic responsibilities which can be caused by uh, which can cause the uh, toxic epidermal necrosis these are amino penicillin another types of penicillin sulfonamide another types of antimicrobial agent as i have mentioned in above phenytoin as like same and the other drugs are barbiturate used are used in different different category anti anxiety and different sedative hypnotic drugs then after carbamazepine this is also used in the anti epileptic drug and apart from that the quinolones which are very important antibiotic used in the treatment as a chemotherapy for microbial agent so these drugs are having potency to cause different types of drug allergic response some may cause serum sickness and some may cause toxic epidermal necrolysis so what are the different points again these are the drug likely to cause allergy apart from this specifically categorized drug there are so many other drug which can cause any type of drug allergy even though we are studying about the type 3 arthritis reaction but now this drug which are likely to cause allergy is common for each and other types of allergic reaction and these drugs are very common also the penicillin sulfonamide cephalosporin salicylate radio content media radio contrast media quinolones and anti sera local anesthetic these are the other drug which may cause drug allergic response in any susceptible or hypersensitive patient so friend this was the second and final part of drug allergy I hope you have got the some points from this lecture video if you want to take the screenshot of this lecture you may have after some time and the reference for today's lecture is padmaja uday kumar thanks all a lot for watching this video namaskar do take care of yourself